I'm Sean Riley. I'm a professional rigger by trade. This is the stuff I'm passionate about. We're going to meet the people working overtime. Well done. <laughs> the unsung heroes. You guys are rock stars. I'm just learning by watching. Tackling the toughest problems on the planet. If it's big, broken, we're going to fix it on world's toughest fixes. I'm headed to the DCV Balder, a deep water construction vessel designed to service the oil industry. There are only a handful of vessels on the planet that can do this kind of work. And any day now, they're going to be shutting this one down. This vessel is powered by seven thrusters. It's basically the propulsion units for the whole vessel. Each one can rotate 360 degrees to propel in any direction. And one of them is what we're here to fix. So how do you swap out a thruster on one of these vessels? Well, first of all, there's no garage big enough to take it to, so you're doing it here in the open ocean. Second of all, you can't flip the thing upside down, so that means divers have got to go in and do it from the bottom. In order to free up the old thruster, they'll have to attach cables to the top of it and drop it out the bottom of the hull. Then a giant crane will lift the thruster onto a waiting support vessel. They'll transfer the cables over from the old thruster to the new one, and then the crane will drop the replacement down into the water. They'll jock it into position, hook it up, and if everything goes according to plan, we're done. Estimated time for the swap is five to six hours, if everything goes smoothly. Every minute is crucial. While the weather's good, we have to keep going. The crane has been slowly dragging the old thruster out from under the hull, and the supply vessel is still struggling to get into position. Suddenly, out of the dark waters. Wow, there it is. That thing has been under the water in hard service for five years. That's it for the old thruster. Supply ship takes it out, we won't see it for six months. It's off to the factory for refurbishing. Now the crew can focus on getting the replacement thruster back into the hull. This is a critical moment. The lines from the winches on the Baldur's deck are now connected through the hull and onto the thruster on the supply ship. Nice, there she goes. All right, they did it, they got it off the deck. Time to get wet. It's time for the divers to take charge. Ryan's going in for a crucial dive. He has to release the line from the crane so the thruster can be lined up perfectly vertical. Is this thing super cool or what? This is the business end of the thruster. Take a look at the size of this prop. You wouldn't want to be anywhere near this thing when it's in operation, turning out 110,000 pounds of thrust. This thing would suck you in, dice you up, and spit you straight out. Before we can pull this thruster into its housing, Ryan has to release the crane line. But he's having trouble getting that bolt out. It's been under immense pressure throughout the day, and it looks like it's stuck fast. Diver is still disconnecting with Jekyll. Yeah. Jekyll is loose. No. He's got to get that crane line disconnected because it's pulling sideways on the thruster. It'll be easier to lift once all of that side load is off. Hang on, I think he needs a hand. I would have liked to have stayed and seen that thruster gone in, but I think I better get out. We're down to the last phase of the operation. With the crane line free, the vertical winches have to go to work to pull the thruster into position. These are the last few minutes of the fix. The thruster's being raised into position, and the last fragile part are those O-rings around the bottom lip. Those O-rings have got a seat just right, so they're carefully maneuvering 38 tons into position. Job on the bolt. Okay. 
The thruster has its cap into the recess, and they're just using the linear winches to slowly pull it up into place. It's a tense moment. If they don't lift completely evenly on the winches, it could turn sideways out of plumb a tiny bit, and it would just rip that housing right off. It could rip the O-ring. All the blessing is off, eh? Ja, ja, krijg je door. Ah. Bam. That's it. It's in. Boy, just seeing those last few inches pull up into place, the whole thruster clunks into position. O-ring seal slipped right into the inside of the housing, the whole thing, boom. Just like that, it's fixed.